Uh, we're going to kick the soccer ball around a little bit here uh, with Daniel Boniface of the Denver Post. And this segment presented by the Celtic Tavern, official sponsor of the Colorado Rapids. The Celtic provides a free bus, free bus to a tailgate party, leaving two hours prior to every Rapids home game. The Celtic, Denver's home for soccer. Daniel, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me. So um, the Rapids are three games into the 2015 season. I hate to bring it up so early, but still haven't scored a goal. Three games, three zero zero ties, correct? Yeah, that's right. It, it's actually a, a record. They're the first uh, club in Major League Soccer to go three games in a row without, uh, or with three scoreless draws. Have they at least been entertaining games for the fans? Uh, they have been. Uh, the the first one was a little bit chippy, but the the last two, um, you know, they've they've put together some decent attacks. Um, their defending has been pretty good, and and you know they've had they've had their chances. So why can't they close? Why can't they put the ball in the back of the net? Uh, at this point, your your guess is as good as mine. They just they, you know, we we talked to them about it. You know, this week John Meyer had a piece in the paper today, and and Dylan Powers said. Um, you know, they just are having a trouble finishing that, that final touch right now. And they have a great opportunity here. The Nuggets, uh, so bad. The Avalanche are not going to get in the playoffs. I mean, we can sit here and talk about it. And the Rapids uh, and the Rockies, or, you know, whatever they are. But the Rapids have, well, but, uh, the Rapids have a chance to jump into the fill the void here and, yeah. and, and get more people who are not just soccer fans. Because you would you wouldn't you agree? Uh, let me put that another way. Would you agree that uh, soccer fans in Denver are kind of like hockey fans? That there are that hardcore group, and in order to get go beyond that, they have to be a great team for other people to get interested. I, I think so. I think there's a huge um, soccer fan base here, and I think a majority of that follows European-based clubs. Um, so I think that there is a big opportunity, you know, for for Major League Soccer to to show the Denver fans that that uh, the product is much improved and and you know, so far one game into the season it, it looks like they've responded, you know, somewhat. They had a sellout in their first match, so um, you know they they've recently signed a big name player, Kevin Doyle, out of Ireland, uh, Republic of Ireland national team striker. Yeah. And uh, he should be in uh, by July 1st. So, you know, a lot of these things are, are building a little bit of momentum and, and potential is there for, for them to, to grow the fan base. And you have two people uh, who are associated with Colorado in Phil Anschutz who basically produced the league to begin with and still owns, what, two franchises? Or, uh, no, well, he owns at one LA. time he owned five I teams. I thought he owns, yeah. still owns uh, Chicago. but. Uh, I believe he still owns uh, LA Galaxy. Yeah, like Galaxy. I, say, I thought yeah. he owned another one. And he sold uh, the, the Rapids to Stan Kroenke. And Kroenke, uh, interestingly enough, Anschutz has a lot of interest in, in, in England. He is a big soccer buff, if you will. Kroenke has become one and owns Arsenal. And he told me that his belief in growing Major League Soccer was to have working agreements between your European clubs, Premier League teams. And and I'm a little bit surprised that we haven't seen more involvement in Stan trying to, because he wanted to market it. He wa No, he wanted to cross-market the, the franchise. He wanted to bring over players that were maybe not quite ready for Arsenal. Have you seen any signs of that? Uh, a little bit. Um, you know, they've, they've brought in some people from, from Arsenal's um, digital team, Richard Clark. Uh, he was on their digital team, and he's now uh, their communications director. And um, so, so they, they are bringing over some talent from there in, in the front office area. But not on the field, um, they, <laughs> on the they, pitch. They have been over there uh, over the winter time, uh, you know, just kind of greasing the wheels. Um, you know, they, they are now sharing and scouting operations. Um, and and they, they have had discussions about player loans. And um, I, was, I was speaking with Paul Bravo, the Rapids uh, technical director and, and vice president. And um, he, he was saying, you know, one of the problems is you have to find players who are willing to come over to the United States. A lot of these players who are kind of on the fringe, um, you know, getting, of getting into the first team with Arsenal, um, they want to be over there with Arsenal and, and not over in the United States, you know, where they're maybe forgotten about.
I thought well, everybody wanted to come to the United States. This land of the free and home of the brave. We're talking Colorado Rapids soccer, uh, courtesy of the Celtic Tavern. Daniel Boniface of the uh, Denver Post is with us. World Cup was last summer. Are we seeing at the beginning of this MLS season any kick, any momentum carryover from the World Cup? Um, I would say so. I mean, I, I think a lot more of the momentum was at, at the end of uh, last season, you know, coming out of the World Cup. Um, but, but you know, interest in the league has grown tremendously in, in, in the last few years. Can you see it in attendance and TV ratings? I would yeah. say so. I mean, I don't have the TV rating numbers, but I, I know that attendance has been amazing. Um, just a huge increase. I mean, I don't know if you, you saw the opening at uh, the Citrus Bowl for, for Orlando City. They had 60-plus uh, thousand fans. Um, the Yankee Stadium opening uh, for NYCFC had 43,000 fans. Is, is Seattle still pulling those huge crowds? Yeah, they yeah. Uh, they annually lead the league. They've they've had you know 40,000 fans uh, on average. So wow, is that going to create a problem for uh, because the Rapids have uh, grown in numbers of support and they bring in friendlies and they had the match that I watched last year. There was in a snowstorm. I believe it was last year, yeah, uh, between Costa Rica and the United States. That was the most fascinating sports event I think I've ever been to. <laughs> to try to see the ball being kicked through a snowstorm was great. I mean, it would roll about two feet and it would stop. Uh, is there a chance that they would play, and it's used to play at Old Mile High Stadium, that they take a few games over there or try and uh, expand uh, Dick's Sporting Good Field? Um, at this point, I, I think, you know, I haven't heard anything about them wanting to um, to expand Dick's Sporting Goods Park or, or play any games over there um, at, at Mile High. But I think um, initially they would need to get to a point where they were constantly sold out at Dick's Sporting Goods Park before they were Aren't they averaging expand. about 13,000 or so? Does that sound They right? sold out uh, the opener, I believe. The opener yeah. was a sellout, and it was close to 18,000. I, th I think it holds 18,000. Yeah. And so they, they would need to, I think, be consistently selling it out to Go out to and get, get the point. scarves. I keep telling people, those scarves are great. They, they sell great scarves out there. Uh, how, like long scarves. Can, yeah. how, how long, you can tell it's the little things that are like food's out, good out there. Uh, how, long, how long can this streak go? Would it be interesting to see after six matches <laughs> and no goals and scores? Well, that's not the only streak, nothing. Woody. They have a winless streak of that's 17 games now. Seven, going back to last July, they haven't won, right? Yeah, July 25th uh, of last year, they haven't won since well, that's then. That's what I meant with the streak going out of not scoring, not winning. Uh, it, it, it's, it's almost impossible to believe. Yeah, well, and in fact, the, the streak began against New England Revolution. Um, so, you know, maybe this will, this will be the team to get the monkey out of the Sure, we want to get, you know, we're, we're tired of Denver teams being beaten by New England teams. Aren't you? <laughs> uh, the Rapids play the New England <laughs> Revolution like I'm an idiot. Saturday at Dick Sporting Goods Park. And uh, this segment of Kicking It with the Colorado Rapids brought to you by the Celtic Tavern. He's Daniel Boniface. Read him in the Denver Post. He writes about soccer. Thanks, man. Yeah, thanks for having All me. Right, Daniel. Yeah. Thank you.